Hello friends, Olivia and I just got back from a shopping extravaganza, you might want to say. We had several stops we needed to make just for errands, but while we were in town we decided to do a little bit of fun shopping as well. And we ended up going to uh, several different stores, but uh, let me show you what I picked up. We picked up from Kroger first. It's kind of like a little fill-in grocery haul for uh, for us because I'm trying to stretch my regular grocery haul for um, three weeks instead of every other week. So let me show you what we picked up from Kroger. I wanted to show you what we got from Kroger first because I have frozen things that need to be put in the freezer, uh, although Kroger was basically our last stop. So the reason why we went in there is because we were running low on bagels and we were running low on bread, which I knew was going to happen and I needed to go into Kroger anyway and they have a better selection than Dollar General as far as that goes and Dollar General does not have bagels. So I got one thing of everything bagels for Travis and then I got the blueberry ones for me. I've really been enjoying bagel, a bagel for breakfast. And then I got some of this white artisano, artisanal white bread for mainly for Travis and Olivia and then I got this one, same brand but it is multi-grain instead. We also needed to stock back up on fruit. This is the perfect season for fruit and I really like having fruit in the house. Um, so I needed to pick up some more bananas. So just picked up a small bunch of bananas. These are nectarines. They were 99 cents a pound and they're humongous. They're still pretty hard. So it'll be a few days before we can eat these, but I just got four of those. I got another watermelon. I, you know how much I love watermelon, especially in the summer when it's in season. And then I picked up some more black cherries. This is cherry season. Absolutely love them. And I got some chicken strips. Now let me tell you, there's a little story behind this. My sweet friend Kim, also known as Schnauzer Mom, if you haven't checked out her channel, you need to knew how much I loved crispy chicken strips and she had a Kroger coupon for two dollars off one bag of chicken strips and so she sent it to me in the mail I thought that was so sweet so I went in and I get got two bags because two bags will feed our family we're gonna have these for uh, supper tonight so I ended up getting some french fries as well and then Olivia really likes onion rings and the this was an expensive brand, but all the cheaper brands had milk in them. This is the only brand that did not have milk. So I told her, let's just splurge and have a, you know, a fun supper tonight with chicken strips and french fries and onion rings and fresh fruit. So we're going to do that. And then I have been wanting um, Italian ice for all summer. I love it. And Aldi doesn't carry it. And I didn't, I don't never think to add it to my list, my shopping list from Kroger, but I think I will remember now because they, they obviously had it. And so picked up some lemon Italian ice. And then I wanted some dairy-free creamer because every once in a while, to every other day or so, I'll drink coffee for uh, breakfast. And so I got this one because I know it's early, but look at that, pumpkin spice, non-dairy creamer. And then they had this, which is Sweet Oat Latte. This was on, like, Closeout, they called it, $1.88. So I went ahead and picked that up. It's Best Buy August 19th, which, on you know, that's actually just in a couple of weeks, but I'm sure I will use it before then. All right, this is everything I picked up from Dollar Tree. Uh, I went in for specific things and actually everything that I had on my list that I was looking for they did not have at our Dollar Tree but as you see I did find plenty of stuff uh, Scott absolutely loves these sourdough nibbler pretzels so I got him two bags of those and then I've been kind of hungry for these pretzel sticks so I got a bag of those for me um, Olivia said that anytime she sees yarn at like a yard sale or anywhere she's just going to start getting it because she has so many different um, craft projects in mind so she saw this yarn there and so she got 
two of the brown and one of the off-white. And then she thought this would look really cute on her headboard, and it will, because she's de decorated it in, oh, it's hard to explain, kind of like... It's called cottage core. Cottage what? Cottage core. Cottage core? Yeah, it's like mushrooms and berries and little woodland creatures. And I don't know if you heard her, but it's called cottage core, and it's mushrooms and fairies and what else? Oh, woodland creatures and stuff like that. Frogs and whatnot. So she picked that up for that. And then she needed some hair clips. And she got the biggest ones they had because she has very thick hair and she has a lot of it. And I picked this up for me because I don't... Well, I have thick hair, but I don't have a lot of it anymore. So I got a small one for me. And then I still have a thing for scarves, even though I don't think people wear them all that much anymore. But I just fell in love with this. It was so pretty. You can use it for spring, summer, or fall. And I love the butterfly on it and the muted tones and the colors. I just loved it. Then Olivia needed a nail brush for her bathroom and this came with a set of two. So I told her we could put one here in the kitchen because I've got a nail brush in my bathroom already. I thought this looked very interesting. It's a hand mask. So one of these days, when gardening is done, I will give myself a manicure, you know, and I will do that. And um, like, this is Dollar Tree, so everything was a dollar twenty-five. Um, I got this just because I thought it looked cool. It's like an exfoliating face brush. Face brush. You put your cleaner on it, and then use that to scrub your face. And I thought, hmm, I would give that a try. My chalk pencil that I, or pen that I had completely dried up. So I got one today from Dollar Tree, as well as some more chalkboard stickers for labeling things. And then the last thing in the world I needed was more fall decor, but they're starting to get their fall stuff out and that's my favorite season. And I'm a sucker for anything fall. <laughs> so I picked up this little straw bale I've got some straw bales already, but they're bigger than this. They're like that much longer. So I thought this was interesting to have one that was just a little bit smaller. And then I thought these were absolutely adorable. Candy corn picks. Those would look so cute up in my wall sconces for the fall. So I got two of those. And then I picked up some floral. I didn't really need a whole lot. I've got so much floral downstairs in my craft room but I really liked these little flowers and these little flowers with the berries so I got those and then we were thirsty and hungry so Olivia picked out these snacks and she ate some of them in the car they're already open I didn't try until we got home and this is the hot buffalo wing uh, flavor but they're really not that spicy they're actually kind of good. I liked them. And then these are the pretzel, pretzel crisps, everything but the bagel crisps, and these are delicious as well. This is the drink I picked. As you can see, it's almost gone. Unsweetened pineapple mango, very, very good. Olivia's drink that she picked is already gone. It's in the trash, so I'm not gonna haul that. But then she picked this out to try later, and she's gonna let me have a drink of it. She likes she likes all the old-fashioned sodas and stuff and she likes to try them whenever she sees them uh, I just picked up two packages of tissues because we were running very low and I thought 128 uh, tissues for a dollar 25 didn't think that was too bad of a deal and then these were complete like I was hungry and I shouldn't have shopped when I was hungry but I love wafer cookies I absolutely love them especially the chocolate ones so I got two packages. I've never tried this brand before. Some brands are really gross and other brands are really delicious. So I'm hoping these are good. And then I picked up some of these toastums which are like pop tarts. These are for Travis mainly but Olivia can have some too if she wants to. Uh, frosted strawberry and cherry. When, when uh, <clears throat> Travis is running late for his work day he uh, a lot of times will just grab a package of these and I don't know if he eats them in the car or what, but he grabs them and heads out the door. So it's just for him. 
All right, that is everything I picked up from Dollar Tree. All right, for the rest of the haul, I am gonna sit down and face the camera because I'm tired. I did really well in town today. I took my crutch, didn't have to use it, but I did hang, hang on to Olivia's shoulder when we were walking across the parking lots because we had to walk a little bit faster and uh, I'm still, still feeling a little bit unsteady on my feet. Um, I did wear a knee brace on my left knee and that, that did help. Um, uh, this, this video is going to be kind of long, I'm a, I'm a thinking, and it's going to be incorporating all different kinds of things. We have done a little bit of yard sailing uh, here and there. Uh, in fact, last Saturday was the townwide garage sales for our area, and it got rained out. So I only ended up going to two, well we went to a few sales, but I only ended up picking up two things and then it was wash, a wash out and we had to come home. So I wanted to share those with you. It wasn't enough to do an entire video on its own. And then also we went over to the uh, fresh produce stand that's just like a mile from our house and I picked up a couple of soaps from there I wanted to share with you and we picked up some produce, but that's been eaten by now. <laughs> so let me go ahead and share with you the things we picked up from the couple of yard sales that we went to. Um, I think I'm gonna start collecting little turkey figurines for the fall. Seems like every year when I go garage sailing, I see them at garage sales. And people don't want much of anything. It was This was 25 cents. And I just really like it. It's, it's different. It's, I've got several turkey little figurines, but this none like this one, so. I picked that up for 25 cents. There's nothing wrong with it. There might be one little chip, but it's very not very noticeable at all. And then the other thing I picked up, it was a dollar. It was like a multi-family garage sale and it was inside of like a pole barn. And they had a lot of stuff in there, but there was only one item that caught my eye and it was these little gingham, red gingham, heart-shaped vase fillers and they're a dollar and i just thought that they come in several different sizes at least two sizes and i thought they would just be really cute to just tuck in here and there in my decor <clears throat> so that was all i got from garage sales i'm hoping we can hit some more garage sales before the summer's over and then what i picked up from the little produce stand i just thought this was so interesting both of them this one is a goat's milk soap and I just love the way they package them with the flower. And the thing about this that I thought was, the reason I bought it is because it is Coco Chanel scented. And it smells really good. It smells so good. And all their bar soaps were $3. So I paid $3 for this. And then the other bar soap I got, the only reason I got it well, if it had smelled bad, I wouldn't have got it, but it smelled good. But the reason why I got it is because it was made, it's made out of, I hope you'll be able to read this, it's made out of donkey milk. Donkey milk soap. Have you ever heard of such a thing? I have never heard of such a thing. And it's midnight orchid scent, which is again, very, oh, very nice. Very clean floral scent. So that's what we picked up from the little produce stand. Then let's go on to what I picked up today. The first stop we made was at TSC, which stands for Tractor Supply Company, if you don't know. Got some feed for the animals. Scott's taking care of that. And I saw a shirt in there. They have a, some really nice clothes. It's usually pretty pricey. But I saw this shirt. It's long sleeved, so it'll be for the fall love the color it was $9.99 the tag said $9.99 but then when I got up to the register it rang up at $7.99 so you can't beat that but what got me was the image on the front let me take the sticker off so you can see the image better you got the size sticker right now in the front of it but I don't know can you tell it's a heart heart shape with roosters and chickens. I'm not sure I can't see the camera, but little chicks and eggs and roosters and hens. 
and I love it. Absolutely love it. I think it will look so nice this fall, this warm burgundy color. Just loved it. And that was another one. Had I known they were $7.99, I probably picked up, would have picked the other one up too. But I couldn't decide because I really had a hard time deciding between the two. But the reason why I went with this one is the other one, it had a different image on the front, but it had uh, something to do with chickens, of course. But it was a white t-shirt material and it was very sheer. So it was like you would have been able to see through it pretty easily. So that's why I decided on this one. But had I known, like I said, had I known they were $7.99, I would have done what I needed to do. <laughs> I would have got it and wore a tank top under it or something. Okay, so that's what I picked up from TSC. Then we went over to Bath & Body Works. I had a coupon that came in the mail, 20% off your entire order, plus one free gift of $8.50 value or less. Um, I was running, starting to run low on my... Um, foaming hand soaps and you know how much I love foaming hand soaps so I stocked up they had them five for $25 and then I got 20% off of that and then I had the free item I got 10 bottles of soap and it only came out to like $38 was my total and I was talking to Olivia on the way back to, out to the car I'm like I don't know that they charged me right Maybe some of these soaps were on were cheaper. I don't know. But it was like $38 for 10 things of soap and this fragrance mist, Summer Melody. This was the free item. $8.50. And it smells like, let me put it on. Let me see. It's hard to tell in the store, but it's like a floral, fruity, um, like I'm almost like papaya or mango and pineapple, kind of, but it doesn't say on the back, you know, what, what the t notes are on it, the, the fragrance notes. But anyway, that was free. That was my free item. And then I'll just run through the soaps really quick. Um, actually, my receipt's in the bag, so let me see. I don't know. 38.52 was my total. And it looks like she charged me correctly. Okay. Oh, I got an extra dollar off per bottle of soap. So that's probably why. But anyway, let me go through these real quick with you. Some of these fragrances you've probably smelled before or heard of before. Um, leaves. That is like one of the most popular fall fragrances for Bath & Body Works, and I love it too, so I got two bottles of that. I got the, um, let me see, this one, White Tea and Sage. Flannel, that's another fall fragrance that I really like. In fact, I have a candle in that fragrance. It's kind of masculine smelling. Crisp mint leaf. I love mint. Wild flower fields. I smelled this in the store and the store, my tongue. Ugh. And it smelled really good. And then I got several for the kitchen. I got sun washed citrus. Got two of those. I love lemony, citrusy fragrances in the kitchen. I got lemon poppy seed. It can also be used in the kitchen. And then kitchen lemon. And, two, three, four, five. yep, I had 10 of them. I told her, I think, I, I think I have 10, but I'm not sure, but I did. And then Olivia, she also had a coupon for 20% off and a free item. And she got some lip gloss, 20% off of that. Menthol, menthol lip, lip tint, violet, violet mint. I can't pronounce anything today, it's crazy. 
So this was ordinarily $7.50, and she got 20% off of that. And then her free item, she got a bar of soap, vanilla coconut soap. So that's our Bath and Body Work haul. Then, kind of on a whim, I told her, why don't we stop in at, um, if I'm bouncing the camera, I'm sorry. <laughs> Trying not to. Why don't we stop in at Goodwill? Now, I've told you before, our Goodwill is kind of stinky. It just, not stinky as in it smells bad. It's just not good. It's just not good. It's disorganized. There's not a lot to choose from. It's mostly clothing. And I've just been so disappointed in the past uh, going to Goodwill. But it's been several months since I've been there, and I thought, well, let's just see what it is. So, or how it is, do, how it's doing now. So I walk in, and right away I can tell, maybe they got a different manager, I don't know. But they got new shelving, which is was much better. Um, didn't seem as flimsy and cheap. Better shelving, things were so much more organized, and it looks like they, either had just gotten a shipment of stuff in or what, but they had a lot to choose from. So I have a huge Goodwill haul here. Um, the main thing I was going into Goodwill to look for were um, like long, really loose, stretchy uh, shorts. I wanted to get one or two pair because I'm probably like 99% sure I'm gonna start my physical therapy back uh, next week I'm gonna call them and you need to wear super comfortable loose fitting stuff when you go there and I was looking for a couple of pairs of shorts that I could because it's hot that I could wear didn't find any shorts I was also looking for some tank tops I found a couple of sleeveless they, they had them in the tank tops section but I don't know they were a little bit more dressy than what I would think of a tank top um, I don't wear sleeveless stuff, but I do wear it under. As you see, I've got a sleeveless shirt here, and I've, I layer. I like to layer. So I did find some of those. Olivia found some things, and she paid for those herself. But um, I'll, just, I'll just get into this, and I'll show you the clothing we got first. I'll show you my tank tops first. This is just a basic red tank top is from CJ Banks. It's a nylon spandex. It looks brand new, brand spanking new. Just a simple red tank top and it was $6.99. But I told Olivia that it was kind of ironic that we went to TSC and I got a brand spanking new shirt for $7.99 and went to Goodwill and got used clothes for just a little bit cheaper. It's like Goodwill prices on some things are just not very good. Other things, they're great, but some things are not great. The clothing, I think they overprice it. I saw this one shirt, it was beautiful. I would have bought it in a heartbeat. It was white. It was just gorgeous. They wanted $20 for it at Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, it still had the tag on it, and they'd gotten it with some fancy, I don't know, it was like a $50 shirt or something. But still, it was used. It was a used shirt donated to Goodwill, and they put the $20 price tag on it. It's like, that's crazy. That is crazy. But anyway, um, onward we go. <laughs> I picked up this shirt. I just thought it was so cute. It's kind of like the princess waistline. It might be a bit too plungy in the neckline for me, but I could wear a white camisole under it. It's got a tie in the back, and it's long. It's like a high-low, almost, shirt. But it's another one that's brand new. It looks brand new, and it's no stains or anything on it. I just thought it was super cute, and it was $6.99. Again, only a dollar cheaper than the brand new shirt I got at TSC. Then I picked up this sleeveless shirt this was also in the tank top section but I would not have considered it a tank top it's just a sleeveless shirt um, I love it the black and white it's really long 
high low again. This will look so cute in the fall, layered with a jean jacket or sweater. So cute. And this one was also $6.99. But again, there's no flaws on it, no stains, no snags, nothing. So, still think it's a pretty cheap uh, deal. Like if we had been buying those at a regular clothing store, we would have thought we got an awesome deal. But at Goodwill, you kind of think, huh, I should have them at least a dollar cheaper in my opinion. And then this is all I could find in the way of something stretchy to wear to physical therapy. Um, it was in the athletics section. It was $2.99. $2.99. And it's just a pair of like Capri, stretchy, I think they were from Walmart, Time and True, is that a Walmart brand? Um, leggings, not leggings, athletic wear they call it. I just thought they were kind of pretty with the blue and they will work. They will work for when I go get my back worked on. And then as we were heading out to the cash register, I saw, I caught sight of this uh, hanging on a hanger and I just loved it. It's a camouflage. I'm a sucker for camouflage. It's a really long. It's got a gray waistband that's split. Now this was in the men's section, but this is a woman's. This is definitely a woman's shirt. This is, oh, this is a time and true brand again. I, like I said, I think that's Walmart. And it was $4.99. Now, was it $4.99 because it was in the men's section? If they had put it in the women's section, would they have charged $6.99 for it? Makes me wonder. But it's nice and big and uh, loose fitting, and I think it would be fabulous to take camping. <laughs> and we are, for your information, planning on one camping trip this year in the fall, in October. Barring anything bad happening, um, and we're going to be gone for four nights and five days, something like that. We're going to take like we're going to come, we're going to check in on Monday and check out on Friday. So, looking forward to that. It's just a state park that's not too far from here, and uh, so I'm excited about it. <clears throat> I will show you what Olivia bought next. She bought some clothing. Uh, it started off, she saw this shirt, and I <laughs> I loved this shirt too. I said, oh man, I wish it would have been in my size. I love the elephants on it. Can you tell? Let me get this. Here we go. The elephant. Isn't that so cute? And feather, and it's just adorable. It's short sleeve. It's very thin and see-through, so she decided to get a tank top to go under it. So she just picked up this black, this simple black tank top and this shirt. Now the shirt was $6.99, that's typical for the women's shirts there, and the tank top was $4.99. And then the other thing Olivia picked up was this figurine of a fox. She loved it because she said it looked like a pirate and it was $1.99. All right, I will show you the home decor things that I picked up then. Um, we're done with the clothes, we're done with Olivia's stuff. Um, I picked up this. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to put it down with my, or in my uh, corner hutch with my other Pillsbury Doughboy things. Um, it was $2.99. I think you're meant to make like pancakes or something in these for little kids, but I absolutely love the Pillsbury Doughboy. I have a couple of Pillsbury Doughboy figurines, or I have a figurine. I have one that Olivia crocheted for me. I have some lights that have the little uh, Pillsbury Doughboy on them, and then when I saw this, it's like, oh, I've got to get it. I just have a soft spot in my heart for the Pillsbury Doughboy. I think I've told you this story before, but when I was a little girl, little girl, probably five, four or five years old, they had a commercial on TV uh, with the Pillsbury Doughboy, and they would, um, the person, it was like obviously animated, or not animated, but I don't know how they did it, but anyway, 
the person would poke the Pillsbury Doughboy's tummy and he would giggle. And I thought that was the cutest thing and I would giggle and laugh every time. Well, that year for Christmas in my stocking was my Pillsbury Doughboy little rubber figure, little toy sticking out of my stocking. So excited. Keep in mind, I was like four or five years old. Pulled a little Pillsbury, Pillsbury Doughboy out of my stocking and punch his tummy, poke his tummy, and he didn't giggle. And I remember being so disappointed because I thought if I poked his tummy, he would come to life and giggle. Well, I've still got that Pillsbury Doughboy and it's got a special place in my heart. So I collect Pillsbury Doughboy things when I find them. The next item we got is very practical. It is a wooden rolling pin. It was $2.49. We needed a rolling pin. The only rolling pin I have is a big, heavy marble one, and I've got it put away, and it's a pain to drag out, and it's heavy to use. And so we've been looking for wooden rolling pin. Now, what we're really looking for is one that's not, um, that's got all solid wood, solid formed not with the um, rotating handles, but until we find that, I'm gonna keep my eye out, out for those at garage sales and whatnot. I picked this one up. It's really lightweight, small size, and I think it'll be perfect to use in the kitchen. Now there is some kind of mark on it, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure we can clean that off. The next thing I picked up, I have this Courier and Ice tray in the fall um, scene and I only paid 10 cents for it at a garage sale several years ago but they had the spring scene and they also had the winter scene exact same trays but it, you know the four seasons now I'm gonna be on the lookout for the summer one but these were a dot this is the summer one. What am I saying? <laughs> There's no snow. I'm going to be on the lookout for the winter one. This is the summer one. $1.99. This was the spring one. $1.99. And like I said, I've got the fall one already and I'll be hunting for the winter one. Then I think everyone's starting to gear up for fall and is kind of in the mood for fall. There was several fall things there at the Goodwill. And you know how I feel about squirrels. And I just thought he was absolutely adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in my little village over there and he'll just stay there all year long because this isn't specifically fall or winter. Um, I just thought he was so cute. He's resin and he's perfect, no chips or cracks or anything, and he was $2.49. So I'm gonna say I'm saving the, la the best finds for last. I think that someone collected fox things because there were fox things everywhere in the home decor section of the store, I mean like, everywhere there were fox 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 that's why olivia found this fox but there was one shelf that i had to restrain myself and not buy every single thing on the shelf olivia's like no you don't need all of them mom save some for other people and i was like yeah you're right but you know how much i love uh, natural fiber critters i have i just have a love for natural fiber Critters. Look at this face. He is so cute. It still has the original tag on it. It was $9.99, whoever bought this and donated it, and they had it for $4.99 at the Goodwill. And then they, I couldn't leave this little guy behind, the little brother or little mommy and baby or whatever. Couldn't leave this one behind. It was also from the same uh, company. It was $4.99 regularly, and I got it for $2.49. So, so stinking cute. 
And then I'm saving the very best one for last. I couldn't believe it. When I saw these sitting on the shelf, I said, Olivia, Olivia, look, Olivia, look. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But this is definitely more of a winter, a winter guy. Maybe not necessarily, but it kind of looks like he's got some frost on him. He's kind of glittery. I don't know how much this was originally. Um, I've bought a lot of these figures in the past and judging by its size, depending on where they got him, if they got it from Joanne Fabrics, he was probably $25. I would say at least $25 brand new and I got him for $5.99 and I just, oh, I just couldn't pass it up. So beautiful. Now they had another one that kind of looked like it matched this guy, but he was standing or he was sitting up, not lying down. And then they had a, they had a couple more, but I, I left them for other people. I was I restrained myself as much as I could, <laughs> considering they're woodland creatures and they're made out of natural fibers, which I absolutely love. All right, there's only one more thing I wanted to show you. Nothing really all that interesting. Um, well, I don't even have to have to show you. Well, let me grab it. Hold on. On the way home, uh, the back roads that we take, there is a farmer who puts out a roadside stand every year. I mean, so far every year. That's where I got all of our sweet corn that we put in the freezer last year. Our sweet corn is doing terrible. We're not going to probably get anything off of it. Um, Olivia, or Becky told me yesterday that the deer, the deer are now eating our corn. So what little corn we had, the deer is eating it. So we're not going to get corn off of our garden, but they were selling ears of corn for a uh, beautiful, beautiful ears of sweet corn for uh, $5 a dozen. So I got two dozen. We'll have some of it with our supper tonight and then I will process the rest of it tomorrow and get it in the freezer. But I have to tell you a little story um, at this little produce stand. We pulled in and there was this old gentleman, very old, um, standing there and he had his dog and he had a collie dog and the dog came walking up, wasn't aggressive at all. She was wagging her tail and she was, she nudged my hand. She wanted me to, to pet her and Olivia was going to stay in the car. But when she saw the dog and she saw the dog was friendly, she can't control herself when it comes to dogs. So she got out of the car so she could pet the dog and the old gentleman was there and he looked at Olivia. He's like, well, hello, sweetheart. How are you? Are you having a good day? And I don't know, Olivia said something, you know, I'm fine or whatever. And he said, how old are you? Are you 11? <laughs> and Olivia's like, no, I'm 22. <laughs> and he didn't bat an eye. He just says, well, I'm 90. So when I said he's an old guy, He's an old guy. So apparently 22 year olds look, appear to be 11 when you're 90. <laughs> but she, I mean, she does look young for her age, but not 11. But I, I just thought that was hilarious. When I, I got back in the car, I said, did he say you were 11? <laughs> or ask if you were 11? <laughs> she, she laughed, she's like, yeah. It's like, I just thought that was hilarious. We had a great time today, I had so much fun. It was great to get out of the house. I haven't been out of the house in forever, it seems. We found some really great deals and had a wonderful time together. She's my shopping buddy, and I hope, I, I don't know what I'll do if she ever moves away, because I won't have a shopping buddy anymore. But anyway, that's it. I don't think I forgot anything. This video is going to be a half an hour long, because I love to talk, and I haven't done videos in a while, so I'm like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, talk, talk, talk. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. In the comment section below, let me know which item was your favorite, whether it be from uh, Bath and Body Works, wherever. It doesn't have to be just from Goodwill. Any one of the items you saw today, which one was your favorite? Leave it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.